What's up guys, Scott Martin here, talking about square bill crankbaits. One of my favorite techniques, as you can see here behind me, a tackle box full of them. Lots of different sizes, lots of different shapes, and obviously lots of different colors. There's a lot to think about when you think about a square bill crankbait, but here's some of the real important factors. Number one, with a square bill crankbait, you're gonna be fishing it in shallow water. Foot and a half, probably down to about six foot, is with my target depth. I'm not gonna throw a square bill crankbait if I'm out in 10 or 15 foot of water. So I wanna fish shallow. You know, I like to dig it in the bottom, but you don't have to. This is one exception to the rule that you don't have to dig this into the bottom the whole time. You can bump it into the stumps, you can bump it into the grass, and what happens is with this square bill crankbait, it has a really wide lip to it, like the, this River to Sea Biggie, and it deflects off a lot of that cover. So I can reel it literally through a laydown tree. I can literally bump it into the side of a stump or a dock post, and I can even reel it through some submerged vegetation, and it doesn't get hung up too bad. It's an amazing thing. Now here's what I like to do. When I'm fishing shallow, say two to three foot, I like to fish on a little bit heavier line, you know, 17 to 20 pound line. That keeps that bait up. It allows me to, you know, kind of get that through the cover. And if I do get hung up with that heavier line, I can pop it free. If I'm fishing in open water and I'm trying to get that bait down a little bit deeper, like around some submerged grass, I'm gonna throw a, maybe, a, maybe a little bit softer rod, a little bit longer rod, this is a medium heavy rod, sometimes a medium, it kind of depends on the situation, but your 12 and 14 pound test line with these square bill crankbaits is a good choice for open water situations. So again, if I'm fishing down shorelines, fishing shallow, I'm gonna fish heavier line, 17, 20, on, on, a, on a six and a half foot to six nine rod, like I have here, this is my TCS crankbait rod. So kind of an all purpose rod, it's awesome. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is colors. You know, I've got a lot of different colors here, as you can see. But to be honest with you, if you really break this down, you have shad pattern and you have your chartreuse patterns. And that's basically what I want to fool with. I don't get too crazy with the bluegill colors and all that kind of stuff. I like shad patterns like you have here. In the fall, that's a great choice. In the fall, those fish are chasing bait. You want to fish a, you want to fish a white bait similar to that. In the springtime, maybe you've got a lot of rain on your lake. Maybe the fish are up shallow spawning. You know, a chartreuse colored crankbait like we have here works, works really good. Or again, like this River Sea Biggie kind of has a little bit of both. It has a nice chartreuse line down the side. So this is kind of an all purpose bait. But keep it simple guys, play around with it. Sometimes they want those bigger baits. And again, in shallow, shallow water, I'll throw a bit, little bit bigger bait like these 2.5s. And in open water situations, I might downsize just a little bit and go to these smaller crankbaits. So basically that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on shallow square bill crankbaits in the spring and especially in the fall. So stay tuned, we've got some more tips coming up. I'm gonna talk about deep diving crankbaits next. And before you leave, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. See you guys.